Okay, get this. Did you know that Sweet Baby Inc. allegedly tried to extort the indie developers behind Black Myth Wukong for $7 million to fix their so-called sexist reputation? Wait, what? That sounds insane already. Are they actually saying that the developers are sexist? Or is this one of those manufactured issues? Exactly. It's more of the latter. They're creating a problem and selling the solution. Sweet Baby Inc. claimed that the developers were sexist and then offered to fix the issue for $7 million. Classic extortion, right? Oh, wow, that's a real shocker. So how does Sweet Baby Inc. go about this scheme? The scheme is fairly simple but effective. They identify what they deem as a problem. Anything from homophobia to sexism. They then start a Twitter campaign to amplify these allegations. Once the story gains traction, game journalists from sites like Kotoku and IGN pick it up and spread it further. So these developers are basically cornered and feel they have no choice but to comply? That's right. Many developers either don't know any better or are afraid their game will get buried under negative reviews. Worse, they genuinely don't want to come off as sexist or racist, not realising the negativity is all manufactured. Wow, that's a lot to digest. But didn't some people claim Sweet Baby Inc. operates differently? Yes, but it's hard to think otherwise when employees themselves brag about their manipulative tactics. One employee even said they used fear to get what they wanted from companies. This is starting to make much more sense now. So how did Black Myth Wukong get involved? Last year, IGN published an article accusing the Black Myth Wukong developers of having a history of sexism. They even translated a social media post poorly to support their claims. Oh no, what was the post originally saying? The translated post made it sound like the CEO said something absurdly inappropriate. However, the actual text was a Chinese idiom meant to humorously describe being overwhelmed by flattery. Basically, it was a complete misunderstanding. That's incredible. Misinterpretation at its best or worst. Exactly. When Sweet Baby Inc. saw this, they offered to fix the reputation of Black Myth Wukong for $7 million. Fortunately, the developers were smart enough to refuse. I'm glad they didn't fall for it. But why did these negative headlines persist then? One commentator pointed out that the team behind Black Myth Wukong has been targeted because they refused to pay these guidance fees. It's like they're penalised for not following political correctness guidelines. This sounds pretty common in the game industry, doesn't it? Absolutely. According to the commentator, such extortionate tactics are common in the industry, especially in the West. Teams that refuse to comply, like Black Myth Wukong, are often the ones getting attacked. That's so interesting. It makes me think about how many other games could be facing the same issue. Exactly. This isn't just an isolated incident. IGN and its affiliates often hold sway over popular opinions in the gaming world, making it easier to manufacture consensus around these topics. That's huge. Hopefully more developers will start standing up against these manipulative tactics. Definitely. There's a lot of money in creating problems and selling solutions, but the awareness is growing. We just need more voices to call out the scams. Thanks so much for tuning in, everyone. If you enjoyed this conversation and want to hear more, make sure to follow or subscribe to our podcast. Absolutely. Thanks for listening. Until next time.